Hi everybody, Pam from the Paper Outpost here with my latest completed journal. Um, this is a nature journal, a botanical journal, a vintage inspired journal. Um, and she's one chunky monkey. Let me take a look at this baby. I know, crazy, huh? Um, have, you ever, have you ever been told you have a big mouth? Well, yep, big gator mouth here. And um, no fat shaming here. One lovely, luscious, chubby, chunky monkey full of all sorts of goodies. And uh, let's get on and explore her. And the good news is most of the stuff comes out. So if you want to wean her down to have a more uh, specific writing journal, that's easy to do. You just pull the stuff out. Um, most of it comes out. Ah, okay. So her details. She is approximately nine by six with a two inch spine and a, okay, a little embarrassed here, a little embarrassed. I can't, can't say that I'm not. Um, I would say an eight inch gator mouth. Oh my God. Oh my God. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? This is crazy. Um, I couldn't, I, I couldn't stop myself. Um, I just kept saying, can I add one more little thing just to make it that much better? And apparently I, I kept going and, and look at this. Well, let me show you the side while we're here. Well, let me take one. No glasses. I need glasses. Okay. Put them back on, put them back on. Okay. So she has tabs, notes, uh, thoughts, ideas, wishes, dreams, and she has lots of little charms and um, little uh, uh, clothespins and all sorts of doodads inside. And her cover, she's a hard cover. She's made completely from scratch. And um, she's a hard cover made out of chipboard, several uh, layers glued together. And I, let me undo her little tie. <laughs> I put a serious tie on this girl. Um, this is a suede, piece of suede with some be uh, wooden beads and feathers. And uh, she's good and strong to hold this baby. All right, but she's very gentle in her nature. And uh, let me show you why. She is a beautiful moss, uh, deep green color. Her spine is an exposed, uh, you can see the threads from the uh, spine on the outside. And she's covered in a beautiful ribbon and the back is plain. She does have the, whoop, tilt her over. She does have the corner. Um, look, let me, let me make her a little smaller. Okay. Um, the little corner edges in gold all the way around. And I embossed the front and hand painted the front. Um, and this, so this is raised and it's accented in, uh, if you can see that, it's like a goldy glitter. Whoop, there you go, knocking into the camera. Very pretty. And this little beautiful um, little baby bunny in the corner. Okay, so let's open her up and see. Oh, oh I didn't show you the spine jewelry, the dangle. The dangle here, she has lovely spine jewelry and that's made with um, hand dyed seam binding and all sorts of little bedangles and some gold chains, not real gold, and uh, um, some beautiful colors in here. You can see this up close, show it to you. And this can easily be removed for easy working with the journal. Uh, it's on a little bulldog clip, okay. All right, let's get into her and see what we got. All right, so page one, we have a lot of things in here. Uh, let me go a little closer. Boop. Okay, that's better. All right, it's a beautiful picture of some forestry. This is a vintage photo. There's a lot of vintage items in this journal. A lot of handmade ephemera, vintage ephemera. Here's um, a little Happy New Year card from days gone by. I put a uh, index card on the back and sewn it on with some gold stitching around. And this cute little guy, I love this concept. I saw this somewhere yet again, I can't remember where, but basically this little envelope opens up as a little prompt for you. Maybe think about writing something in a journal perhaps. <laughs> uh, I've got some lace and some gold here and I added one of my um, uh, original watercolors, a little uh, collection of flowers there. The first tab is notes, and that can mean whatever it means to you. Let me get in the picture here. Okay, so here's a little uh, three level pocket made out of an old book page. Here's some uh, calling cards, a little handmade ephemera with some prompts on the back. There's some st postage stamps here 
And another uh, Victorian trading card with a uh, prompt on the back for you to inspire you. Some hand stamping. Um, aging around the corners, uh, heavily done throughout this book. I was scrubbing the vintage photo off my hands for quite a while. Uh, acetone works great for that, by the way, if you ever have a big struggle with that, as I did. Um, okay, here we have, I believe this is from Artie Mays' collection and um, a winter collection. I, I don't know the exact name, but it's a very beautiful collection with uh, gorgeous owls and such. A little tag. And uh, here's another little uh, uh, place for writing. And I felt that because I put so much stuff in, you need a lot of places for writing. So a lot of the extra add-ons are things that you can write on. So don't worry about not having enough places to write on. There's tons of places to write on in this book. Here's a little vintage uh, library card. And here's a Russian bus ticket in the corner, some hand stamping. More hand stamping. I did a, a little gold painting on this butterfly here. Doo -doo -doo. Now here's a beautiful piece of um, Edith Holden's work turned into an index card sewn on there and did some uh, stamping here, not stamping, uh, punching here and some more hand stamping here for the uh, pocket. Some tons of top coffee and tea dyed paper throughout some gorgeous images on that. Whoop. Here's a neat letter from 1897. It's an authentic uh, vintage letter, handwritten. And uh, no, it's Dear Sister Millie, and I'll let the owner get to read that. Kind of a funny little letter. There's something about the way sisters talk to each other. I don't have a sister, but if I did, I would talk to her exactly the way Millie did, <laughs> or uh, the woman who wrote to Millie. Um, another uh, journaling card for you there, and we're going to go a little faster here because we have a lot to go through. Okay, let me just back this up. Oh, disaster. Hang on, hang on. Don't anybody move. Okay, we're back in. Okay, all right. So we have uh, some collage. And we have lots of flip outs in this book. Here's an envelope flip out. And inside you've got some more vintage ephemera, altered tag. This is a little pocket in here uh, with some more ephemera and more, um, it's kind of hard to do with, I have two hands, why am I having a hard time doing it? Okay, there we go. Oh, look here, we have more writing space, yes. Just what we needed. Okay, and here we go. The Daily Moose paper, very important to get your copy of the Daily Moose paper. And here we have some graph um, paper, not graph paper, um, ledger paper. And um, this is a flip up with some secret note writing paper under there, very important. And here's another card you can write on the back of here. And this little, this is a fabric tuck that I made. More coffee dyed paper, more hand stamping, more little note papers to write on. It says dreams. There's a little tag here and a bigger tag here with more places to write with more prompts. And um, this is a uh, wax paper bag placed in here. More writing space. Here's an Edith Holden page, and I made some uh, little uh, cutouts of leaves front and back and put them on the, the dangle here. Here is, let me go a little closer. If I go, oh, well, that's probably pretty good. Okay, I'll just show you. This is a little flip out, and more journaling space for you. And like I say, a lot of this can be easily removed. There we go. Okay. Whoops. Forgot to fold that pocket back. Back you go. Back you go, mister. All right. Little decoration on the front of that. Another uh, paper, um, wax paper, wax paper bag and more writing space. This has been embossed on. And what else we have in there? Something else in there. Another little journaling card. 
There's a ton of journaling cards and extra note papers in here. Here's another little uh, notebook that you can write on. And lots of hand stamping there. That's stenciling actually. And this is a fabric on canvas paper uh, clip decorated. Let me show up with that closer. Okay. And here's a glued on flower, a dried flower. And here is a calling card from Abel. Hello, Abel. I'm glad you came by to say hello. And here is another envelope flip out. Move this over. And we're flipping. And there are some goodies in here, some more note paper, and a few other things in there. Here's some uh, writing sheet that can be removed. And this is an upper tuck. I'm going to call it an upper tuck. There you go, an upper tuck. You are now an upper tuck. Okay. <laughs> All right, here's a big tag. These are fun. They give you a lot of journaling space. And that's pretty on the back. And I'll try and remember where I got this image from. It was from somebody on Etsy. Oh, and here is a beautiful uh, uh, little poem by uh, in an old vintage newspaper called uh, Cheering Word by Edgar Guest. Okay. There you go. And another little area to write upon. And here's a big tag with a stamp on it and laces, coffee dyed papers, and some interesting, uh, these are uh, Leonardo's inventions on the back. And here's a double envelope pocket that I'm sure somebody famous invented. Uh, I'm going to guess Wendy's journaling adventures, but don't quote me on that. Or if you know who it is, please post it below. Here's another little saying about um, nature. Some tracing paper for extra crinkle factor and hand stamped. Uh, more note pages. Here's an old uh, vintage coupon from Woody's World, Geneva on the Lake, Ohio. An introduce yourself page. Here's a nicely tucked with uh, tags and uh, journaling cards. Uh, many different things with many inspirational quotes on them. And here's a Victorian die cut. And this is a little uh, pocket made out of a book page. And there's some um, stenciling on the back of that, some beautiful trees. And here's a little booklet with a, uh, just opens and you've got more writing space. Just for inspiration. And I just got this idea from Amity Bloom. She uses acrylic paints on her pages to uh, break the white. And I thought that was a great idea. So thank you, Amity, for that. And uh, here's some more writing paper. And this is cut out of a, uh, uh, like a scrapbook paper, the corner of it. And I just used it as a pocket. And I'm in frame. Okay, here's another little notepad with aged paper inside. And here's this in the corner. Anybody recognize that? Okay. And here's a belly band with more writing space. Uh, I like this one. It says, I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. I still have a lot to learn, age 92. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> and I, it's, I feel 92 <laughs> and I still have a lot to learn. Okay. All right. What do we have now? We're going to turn the page. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, this I made in the last um, challenge. This was, uh, what was it? Cardboard, C for cardboard for, with Shabby Dabby Doo Dah's th three and 30 minute alphabet challenge. So we had to use some cardboard and I made a giant bookmark. And I thought with the uh, floral themes, these uh, uh, vintage Victorian die cuts would go well here. So this book needed a serious bookmark. Okay, we're traveling into thoughts. Yes. Okay. So um, here is, I need a paper clip. Kingdom for a paperclip. I'll clip it in later. It's okay. Um, I glued in some flowers that I uh, dried from my, um, uh, we had some flowers given to us. So in they went and uh, I did some hand stamping around it. And this is one of my little um, watercolors that I've included in here. It's an original. Here's what I call a, um, I call these tearaways. 
you might have more of an official name, but basically it's a collection of little odds and ends of papers that you can tear off and use throughout the journal as you see fit. So you have, uh, of course, freedom to do whatever you like in the journal. And I'll just give you some more toys to play with. And we'll put you there. Okay. And put some lace on the edge here. Okay. Here's some washi tape and some paper cutouts. And this is, a, I love this picture. Uh, this is a vintage picture of clouds. Oops, see if I can get the um, glare off it. It was just so beautiful. I didn't want to put anything else on the page to disturb the beauty of those peaceful clouds. Somebody was thinking clouds. Here's a uh, botanical card, Angelica, an herbal card actually. And here's some more um, journaling cards with little prompts on them. A corner tuck, and here's a, a computer card and a re um, address book page. Here's, this is a, a postcard and underneath it is a page from an autograph book from days gone by. And this is an extra little secret writing space for you. There you go. Pulls down. Call it the accordion. All right. Here we have um, some more vintage ephemera, pieces of old book pages and receipts, and a uh, little decor on the pocket made out of the book pages. It's a great way to use up the book pages, as we know they multiply while we sleep, right? I know. Mm-hmm. Okay, here is another pocket stuffed with all sorts of uh, pretty things. This lovely little uh, vintage piece of birdies sewn around with the gold thread and you can write on the back of that. And here's another little tag to write on as well. Okay, a little inspirational card in there. And uh, in here we have a nice picture of two lovely ladies under a tree in an old car. A little writing on the back there. And here is another old library card. And a little uh, banana nut bread recipe. Gotta have that. Squirrels like their nuts, right? Yep. Oh, okay. And uh, here's another little upper tuck with an alteration tag tucked in it. And I decorated it up. Collage work there. Some mixed media work. Here's another little uh, tag that I just glued onto the side for some drama. And uh, here's another, uh, no, here's a little envelope and it's got some coupons and uh, tickets collaged on this side and then there's some more um, vintage ephemera tucked in here. The Education of Little Tree. I thought that was appropriate for a nature journal. Here's a fun page. I love this little die cut, this little piggly, piggly guy from days gone by and the mandalas. And then you have this beautiful picture. I believe it's from um, I, I was going to originally say Austria, but when I read the, or, uh, sorry, I was originally going to say Alaska, but I think it's actually from Austria. Okay, here is a flip out and we have it flips like this and you have a vintage card to a sister. And nice thing about that is you have all this writing space on the inside. Look at that. Look, I'm just like tons of writing space here. And inside this, we have um, a flash card, a, a playing card, and habito. Habitat means uh, to dwell, abide, or live. I thought that would be good for nature and the many different habitats it holds so dear. And just a picture of a beautiful little cardinal and the babies. All right. There we go. Here's another little picture of some nature from days gone by. A little bear in the picture and in the frame. Okay. Lots of writing space. And here we come to the middle of this signature, number two. And we've got more of the little tabs and some Edith Holden paper, more writing paper. 
And here we have some more journaling cards in the um, re in the book page pocket. And here we have this little one, two, three places you can write here on this little book. Hand stamped and folded. And here we have a beautiful vintage picture of an old car with a family tucked down. There we go, under some trees. And here comes a flip up. Hold on to your hats, flipping up. And it says, Nature Heals. And you can write on that. And then below that is a, um, like a parchment paper bag, a deli bag, and it has some extra places for journaling. It's been hand stamped. Just never know what you're gonna find on the next page here. Oh, this is um, a, a dictionary page that I was doing one of those, uh, I forget what they're called, like you pour the many different kinds of paint into the cup and then you turn it over and you let it go and amazing things happen. And you're all of a sudden an artist, like you didn't even know how, but you're, you're like Picasso. Well, this is what I used to mop up the paint that fell off. Okay, yeah, okay, not maybe Picasso, but that's where that came from. Never waste a drop, right? <laughs> oh, and there's a little booklet back here with a little um, dangle on it of uh, different little papers for inspiration. You can write notes on it or um, simply use it as a tearaway. And here's some more vintage ephemera. This is a little advertisement from many days gone by. And on an old newspaper, a double pocket. I'll try and put everybody's links down below that I mentioned in case you're interested in looking up their um, videos because there's got some great stuff out there. Here's a library catalog card. Another more vintage ephemera. Another little tag, vintage ephemera. Another little envelope with a flash card, some uh, laces and um, crochet to decorate that. More writing paper. I like to break the edge of the paper often and Amity Bloom actually taught me how to do that with layering and um, making fabric hinges in her class. So if you haven't taken that class, I highly recommend it. It's a great class. Um, but uh, going beyond the edge of the page, get brave, let people see a little bit about what's coming next because it can get you excited about, oh, what's coming, what's coming? Um, so anyway, it excites me. <laughs> Okay, more vintage ephemera and a coupon, altered tag. And we've got another flip out here with some goodies in here. More writing paper and other things in there. I'll let the owner explore. And what do we have? Oh, a little tear away. Some more tickets and a, a beautiful butterfly stamp. Here we've got a postcard, a vintage postcard from, I want to say Colombia. Colombia, yes. Okay, and here's one of my little watercolors inside. And I do sign the back of those. Okay, we're on to ideas. Got big ideas here. Oh, this was cool. I think this is a picture. Oh, get the shade out. It's a picture of a horseshoe crab against a log in the sand. What do you think? That's what I think it is. Okay. And this opens up to more journaling space. All right, more crinkly tracing paper, more vintage ephemera in tux, more flip outs for the forest calls, extra writing space. Here's a little eagle with more writing space on the back in a little envelope. Okay, here's a nice poem about the wind. Here is a uh, dried flower encased in an address card. Here's another pocket with some more um, tuck spots and here's a little wooden piece with a leaf on it. And here's another watercolor. All right, here's a little end, whoop, I'm getting the screen here, getting screen. Okay, here's a little envelope with some goodies inside. Here's a beautiful rose leaf that I've glued upon a parchment bag. Some more papers. Uh, here's uh, some of the handmade paper, fiber paper. Here's um, 
ephemera and uh, tags. And here's a fabric tag on paper tucked into this little tuck spot. All right. Here's the middle of this one. She's got the little danglies here as well. And there's an upper tuck with an envelope and there's something in there, but I'm not going to show you because <laughs> um, it takes me too long to take it all apart. <laughs> okay. Um, these are fun, uh, helpful tips from a, a household hints book, which I find it's, it's back from, it's got to be the 40s or the 50s and they're hilarious. So if you get a chance to read those. Um, I've ordered some beautiful, very old ephemera from Australia and they send me the most gorgeous stamps on the envelopes. I love them. Here's a fabric hand uh, machine sewn pocket that I made. Here's a, a moth card and there's a little extra uh, writing paper inside here. Lots of writing space. Here's a picture of the uh, um, petroglyphs, I believe. and. Uh, are you stuck? Don't be stuck. I just finished you this afternoon. I will wiggle you free. Come on. Don't tear. I'll get you out later. Okay. Um, I made this little double pocket. That happens sometimes, you know. Okay. Oh, this is fun. And I'm sure I saw this somewhere. Can't remember where. But it basically opens into our writing space. Isn't that cute? That is so cute, isn't it? I just love that. Anyway, there's a little prompt in there for you as well. Give you a little close up of her. Okay. And uh, get ourselves centered again. Yes. All right. Here's a little tag in here in a glassine bag that's been distressed. Lots of writing space, more crinkly tracing paper, more tags and vintage ephemera. That's a pretty one, isn't it? She's such a cutie. Oh yeah. Adorable. Adorable. All right. Here's a little new design on the uh, book page pocket with a little uh, writing space inside. Here are three um, journaling cards tucked into a belly band. And here's another little watercolor I did. Nothing fancy, but just some fun. And a couple other writing pages tucked in there for you. So if you did remove a lot of the ephemera, the book would collapse down to a normal size. <laughs> um, this is one of the... Um, I guess they call them raggedies. Maybe Nick the Booksmith created those. Not sure. Hand sewn. Not hand sewn. Yes, I hand stitched this. Every little stitch. No, I didn't. It's a uh, machine sewn by me, <laughs> uh, which is a, a, an adventure because I just learned how to sew not that long ago, but I'm getting better at it. Um, another flip. Hello. Uh, Australia um, stamp. And here is a beautiful vintage um, lithograph print from a very old book from the 1800s. And I backed it onto some paper for some stability for you because it would crumble easily otherwise. I like to see those uh, vintage images uh, saved and, and looked at again. It's nice that people actually look at them again. Um, this is a, a flip with a little extra writing or extra um, journaling card and two pieces of extra writing paper. Okay. Okay, back you go. All right. A lovely, uh, from the public domain, this picture came. Isn't that a great picture of the, uh, the bees? I love that. And some uh, mulberry paper. Oh, I love this family by the tree. I think it's a cedar or juniper tree. But uh, I'm trying to figure out who is who. And I think mom and daughter, look at those faces, they're almost identical. And that could be husband or brother, not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure that's mom and daughter. And here's a pretty little card with some birdies on it, writing space on the back. And this little, oh, hello, my dog woke up. Hi, Angel. Um, here's a little flip up and you've got some extra little journaling cards in there. And here's another pocket with a, a journaling card. <laughs> and uh, here's a little, um, it's a pocket in the front and then it's a paper 
uh, like a parchment bag in the back and there's more writing paper and note cards and things like that in there. And here's some more um, ephemera. And here we have another little pocket. It's in there. This guy with a little lace. Writing space on the back. And uh, lots of extra places to write. Tuck spots, things to explore. You'll be here for days. Days, I tell you, going through this baby. All right. This is a little um, write. You can write on the back of that. As well as this one. And here's Edith again. And I put a button here this time. It's a little vintage button. And Lewis came by. This is a calling card. Hello, Lewis. Thank you for coming by. Um, some uh, extra little papers in there for you to discover. More ephemera. Uh, here's another. Um, this you can remove completely. Um, it's a pocket, double pocket, made out of a glassine bag and stuffed with all sorts of goodies. And I'll just show you this quickly. But this has a pocket on the back, and it's an envelope. And when you open it up, oh my God, there's more stuff inside. Yeah, you're going to be going to town with this baby. Okay. All right. More stuff. Here's I used some uh, junk mail and turned it into a multi pocket using the different inside colors of different envelopes. That was fun. Um, thinking of doing a series on um, junk mail to junk journal uh, and using what we have um, because, you know, you really, it seems like you have to buy a lot of stuff, but really, if you get uh, some ingenuity going, you don't need to buy a lot of stuff. And I think it's uh, E, I want to say, there's a G.I. Kerr, and then there's, um, I want to say A. Johns. This one woman, she does like things on a budget, and they're just amazing what she comes up with all the time. So many great ideas. I'll put her link down below, too. Um, here I put some more dried, real dried flowers on the page, and some stamping, and uh, some more bags, crunchy bags. This was a, a corner of a field guide that I just tore and used as a tuck with some music. And uh, more things to discover. The journey never ends. We are on the last section now. And um, here we have what I call, this is a pocket this way and it's a pocket this way. So here we have two frogs. This is a little book. This is a journaling card. These are two journaling cards. And um, this is um, a side tuck. And this is some um, hand eco dyed um, watercolor paper and I put some writing space on the back for you and there's also uh, some little things for you to explore here the journey never ends and we go and more things here oh, you got folded let's unfold you okay and this is a side flip believe here's more um, notes note paper like you need it anymore huh yep and uh, this is a little uh, place to put extra thoughts. How many different ways are there to say that? You can put extra thoughts, journal, write. <laughs> I'm coming up. <laughs> like I'm losing. Idea. Oh, okay. I found a, this vintage photo of two dogs. Not my dogs. These are dogs probably back from the 50s, I would say. And I just made a little faux um, frame for them and put them in here. And we're using them as a tuck to hold this giant car, uh, tag. That's actually my dog's name, Angel. <laughs> and here's a little tearaway note pad. Okay. And when you see these little uh, uh, clothespins, you can remove all this ephemera. And here's a little uh, note pad for that extra journaling space. And you just have to write down those few extra things. And this is a note paper that comes out under this belly band. 